Hey everybody, my name is Karthik Subramaniam. I'm a real estate entrepreneur here in Southern California. I'm the founder of a very large real estate education company. I absolutely love what I do. I have a passion for the business. I'm happy to have found it. Follow my journey here on YouTube. Hey everybody, Karthik Subramaniam over at Adi Schools. I wanted to take a quick second to talk about just something that's been on my mind here recently, you know. I've been teaching these real estate classes now and I've helped thousands of students get their real estate license all over the state of California and it's an incredible honor for me to have that job. Now what's happened, because the real estate market's been, been pretty hot really since like 2013 till now it's been a pretty a bullish real estate market. There's a lot of other real estate schools and real estate education companies that have come out of the woodwork and I even get calls from brokers, hey Karthik, you know, I want to start my own real estate education company, can you help me do it? I wanted to share a statistic with you because, you know, we get people all over the state and the country that watch these videos and if you're thinking of, hey, I want to get in the real estate school business or, you know, I want to follow what this guy's doing and use him as a model, I want to share a statistic with you that might be surprising because a lot of people think that real estate education is a very lucrative business and it, it can be, to be honest. But I wanna share some statistics with you here and let you know just how susceptible our real estate education business is to market fluctuations. Now, I'm going to share three numbers with you. In October of 2005, there was about 20,000 people a month from 2004, five, six, taking the real estate exam. Think about that, 20,000 people a month taking the real estate exam. They would give the real estate exam at the LA Convention Center like 1,300 people at a time. It was a crazy time in the real estate market. It was a crazy time for lenders. It was a crazy time for the real estate school business. I mean, it was just ridiculous. By 2009, that number had dropped from 20,000 people a month to like 1,500 people a month, 1,600 people a month. You, nobody wanted to do anything with real estate because of course the market was so bad and we had the mortgage crisis and the, that number dropped. So, you know, it was like 90% of the people that were taking the real estate test in terms of numbers, gone. Not, don't want to get their real estate license at all. Now, that number is about 4,000, 4,300 people a month taking the real estate exam. So it's just up and down, up and down. Our market or the real estate school business and the number of people taking the real estate exam and the number of people renewing their licenses, that is very, very susceptible to the overall real estate market. Right now, the perception of course is that, hey, you know, the real estate's good, it's easy money, let me jump into the business. When the market starts to slow down a little bit, and it will, it's just, you know, we're, you know, decades into the cycle where the markets go up and the markets come down, you'll have a lot of people that aren't getting their real estate license anymore. So, you know, I personally and my staff and our company, we're super committed to the process. So whether we have one student in class and there were some locations we had in 2008 and 2009 that literally had one student in our program. Every week we still showed up and did our job. Now we have some locations, and we, even then we had, we had big locations too then, but you know, it wasn't this frenzy of people getting their real estate license like it was back you know, in 2004 and five and six. Now, again, our philosophy is unchanged. It's unwavering. Whether we have one student or a thousand students or a million students, our commitment to our process and to our product and to service will never change. And I think a lot of people that are thinking about maybe getting into the real estate school business or hey, I wanna start a school for recruiting, I would look deep in, deep down into yourself and say, hey, are you willing to run the marathon? You know, it's not, this is not a you know, one day or two day or three day project. If you're really committed to doing it, it is, a, it is a lifelong thing. And that's the way I view it. And that's the way our company views it. I'd love to connect with you on Instagram. My information's of course on the screen. If you're interested in taking real estate classes, I'll put our phone number and a link to our schedule in the description box. And of course, as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now so you're the first one to know the instant we upload a new video and we'll catch you guys on the next one.